About an hour ago, we learned one of the five surviving victims in Tuesday night's attacks in Taunton has been released from the hospital. And it comes as the community once again prepares to come together to honor the victims and their loved ones. From the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in Taunton with more details. This is the end of an incredibly difficult week here in Taunton. Community members are gathering here tonight to grieve together. It's been three days since George Heath and Patricia Slavin were killed in a stabbing spree in Taunton that also injured five others. Associate Pastor Matthew Thornton is holding a vigil at his church to try and start the healing process. There's been some emotions of, of fear and uncertainty, and this is a hard one to really place in your mind on why things like this happen. Authorities say Arthur DeRosa started by stabbing Patricia and Kathleen Slavin inside their home on Myrick Street Tuesday night. Patricia died. Police say DeRosa continued to the Silver City Galleria where he stabbed Bertucci's waitress Sheena Savoy and patron George Heath and assaulted three others. Heath, who was a teacher, is credited with saving Savoy before he was killed. An off-duty sheriff's deputy shot DeRosa before the spree went any further. Our community is still in a, in a, in a place of shock over all of this as well. Last Last night, 80-year-old Patricia Slavin's friends mourned her at her own taunt in church, saying she would have forgiven DeRosa. She's a very forgiving, loving person. She would forgive him, and we all do. And the DA says Kathleen Slavin was released from the hospital today. Now the vigil is set to begin at 7 here at Christ Community Church in Taunton. And some of the victi victims' family members are expected to be here. Live in Taunton with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.